figure out what's going on with your eye. This is not. So I don't remember when's the last time I recorded, but we've been home for like, like two, three days now. As you can see, like I didn't do my hair and stuff. I haven't made breakfast in my, I haven't made any food in my own home in the last like two days or like not two days, a week. I still have to edit the video from last week because I haven't even posted it and it's Monday. So I'm sorry guys. Hopefully I can get that up by now, but you guys won't see this until next week anyway. So it don't matter. But let me get to work. Cause this, this one's like mommy. Feed me. <laughs> Here we have lunch. We got lamb, ground lamb, Brussels sprouts, and rice. I'm just going to put that up for later because I'm going to work out. And I don't want to eat right now, but I'm going to eat after my... I just made that right quick so that when I'm done with my workout, I could just eat. And I'm not having to cook it still. Uh, I'm about to right now make my garlic tumor. Uh, I can give him his food. Just chill. Put my legs up. Good morning, guys. Today's Tuesday, I think, or I think it's Tuesday, yeah. Um, last time I spoke to you guys was yesterday. I think I was showing you guys my son's eye. Was that Tuesday? I don't remember. Anyways, um, today's a new day. That's all I know. I don't know what day it is, but my son had that has a, a swollen eye and uh, it's pussing all the time, or not pus, but mucus from the eyes, mucus. Pus, same thing. I don't know what the fuck you want to call it, whatever. But it looks better now. It doesn't look like it did before. Uh, all I did was take a warm towel to his eye constantly. I warmed it up for like 30 seconds and put that on his eye. Well, not the 30 second. Let it cool down afterward. Today, though, he woke up with a little, um, with some mucus in his eye again. It wasn't swollen, though. It was just without the swollenness, just the, the pussing and... Um, he couldn't open his eye this morning basically because it was shut with the pus was like holding the lashes together so he couldn't open his eye and it really hurt. Um, we just got off. I'm about to go into Sprouts and get some garlic and ginger and garlic ginger. But when we went to Vegas, we actually had a few like money issues because, because we were in another state, I guess. The bank thought that fraud was happening or something like that. So while we were out there, a few places we couldn't even use the card. And then when we come back, a few places out here won't let us use the card either. So I have to go to the office right now. To my man. Hi, how are you? You guys never called me and said anything. I'm like a new son. You're the one that's in the club and trying to So this is just lazy. When I see this, I'd be like, damn, people are so lazy. So <clears throat> I have whatever my son had last week, I have this week. So I'm walking around with this face mask on so no one can see what my face looks like because it looks real nasty, you guys. You don't want to see. You don't want to know what my face looks like, actually. I got pus all in the eyes and it's, and they keep, it keeps growing. And I'm like, I'm not going outside looking like this. So I put this on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can y'all see? In the corners of my eyes. So, well, I don't want nobody else seeing that. So I said, we're wearing this today. We're going to wear this today. So right now I'm going to go get some lunch. I want a salad this afternoon. I'm going to get a salad. I'm sorry, I have not recorded a lot this week. It's just been everywhere, but we're moving tomorrow. Good morning, my people. Today is Tuesday. And honestly, I tried to record a video for you guys last week and post, but that was the week after Thanksgiving. And I didn't get much foot footage after that because it was a lot going on. <clears throat> like my card wasn't working when I got back because I had been paying for stuff while I was in California, right? Through phone call that was in California, but I was also in Vegas already spending money. So <clears throat> when I had got back, I had to go make some money so that I could pay for days and stuff because they wasn't allowing me to use my card at that moment. 
it was crazy, y'all. We got it all figured out and shit now this week. But last week, it was a lot going on. I didn't want to take a shit, but there's a fly in the bathroom and it's pissing me off. Adam, hush. I'm really... This morning, many things going on. I'm the type of person, and I didn't know that women, like, there's women out here, like, this is a woman thing, apparently. But, like, I don't know. I operate this way. I'm the type of person that can't get things done unless, like, my environment is is, is where I need it to be. So, like, I'm sitting here, and I'm trying to make breakfast for my son because he's whining about eating. He's not even supposed to be up right now, though. This dude won't sleep by himself if you're in the bed and you get up he's sitting in the bed with you and he don't feel your presence there no more he's gonna get up with you too because he's up i have to feed him i can't i can't get my workout in i can't read my book or nothing because this i woke up at four he got up with me like this is nuts this is freaking nuts otherwise he'll just sit there and whine the entire freaking time and i'm i'm that parent that don't like whining i that's why you hear him quiet right now because i told him be quiet i don't want to hear the whining I'm, I'm gonna make you food you just gotta be patient and you just gotta wait and you're not gonna sit up here and whine but i gotta cook for him but fuck i can't cook for him because like i told you i'm the type of person that my kitchen ain't clean so i can't cook for him because i have to have a clean kitchen first i don't know this is how i operate but then i couldn't clean the dishes and then cook for him because there's clean dishes in the dish rack so i had to take the clean dishes out of the dish rack and then by that time i was like my son keeps whining i just i'm just i'm just like fuck it i'm just gonna go ahead and make him some food but i'm the entire time i'm sitting here mad because i have to do it that way because i don't want to do it this way i want my environment freaking clean i'm sorry i just had to go on that little rant i don't want to oh my gosh I don't like all this shit up here. It's a bunch of shit up here that just should not be up there. Just making something quick because I don't have no oatmeal. Usually I would have oatmeal for him um, and berries, but I don't have any berries. I don't have no blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. I don't have none. I got Greek yogurt, so I'm going to do some of that with his um, spam eggs and rice. I'm going to throw some yogurt on the side. Add some vanilla extract to it. Give it a little bit of taste because Greek yogurt, I get plain yogurt and then I add stuff to it. So this is the yogurt that I get. I get um, most of my shit from Costco, like this, the big stuff, because this is only like six bucks. This thing, six bucks, y'all. And it'd be like 10 bucks for the little ones, but you know, the different flavor stuff. So I just buy this big old thing and I just add whatever I want. So it's like, get this and I'll get like some blueberries or some blackberries or something. And I'll mash that up in here. So it's blackberry yogurt, raspberry yogurt, whatever. Um, Today, like I said, I'm going to add vanilla abstract to it. So that's for that good, good health. Greek yogurt, probiotics. You need it currently still all have all these clothes to do in this bag over here so right now this is the system that i have with the rv with our clothes we don't have like drawers and clo closets and stuff and i mean we do have like a closet pulled everything out so that i can kind of reorganize put my clothes back in my bin this is my my um dress drawer like all my nice clothes you know that i wear like dresses and skirts and stuff and then i got a few bathing suits in here too um and then over there is like my winter stuff like sweaters and pants and stuff like that and i have like underwear and bras and shorts over there too got the shoes and brought them to me so that's what let me know he wants to go outside so we're gonna go outside so let's go outside adam so there's a dog in this rv park that a2 really loves big dogs he's not a small dog type of person he likes big dogs though so i buy um treats because he likes feeding the dog treats i walk is early today but that's because he was like he said he want to come outside so we're outside i did find the dog but forgot to record it it was so cute he acted a fool anyway so Uh, because I put the treats up. Uh. Some people may feel like this is like harsh and whatnot, but like I'm still trying not to have give my son way too much TV time because we all know what the what screens do to the brain. And like even if you don't want to say that they don't do anything to the brain, okay, let's just talk about like how how just the form of technology has made people lazy. Like when you look at 
like social media and YouTube and stuff, like you have to be sitting while looking at these things, which means like you're you're being lazy, you're being boring, you're not making yourself active. That's the natural form of just scrolling on TikTok, scrolling on Facebook, scrolling on YouTube and stuff. Like you gotta, um, especially with kids, like that at a young age for kids is not good. They really do need to be more outside and things like that. So that's why I preach the act like I don't want my child all into screen. Like you haven't heard the TV on all day. Have you? No. It is 10 o'clock and he's been up since four. So well, it's been five hours. He's fine. I mean, he has his little moments where he's like tripping and shit because he don't have anything to do. Then all I do is I redirect that and I'm like, come on let's do something let's do this let's do that see like but he'll for the most part he can entertain himself and that's the thing that you don't want screens take away from children they don't know how to create things and make fun for themselves you know if they got a screen constantly in their face then they're never gonna know what to do i take him outside and stuff like we just got back from feeding something that we we do every day you know because he likes to do it it, it makes him look forward to going outside because he know what's gonna happen he knows what, what what can happen when he goes outside we get to run around we get to play yeah. he gets to feed the dogs we get to come back and like not having the screen in your face all the time although all i watch all he watches is like miss rachel clone wars jedi like star trek star wars stuff and miss rachel that's all he watches but too much of that is not good i need to make a segment calling it unfucking yourselves because you know you live through life with being raised the way that you were raised and then when you're an adult you find out that that ain't how that is supposed to be so like now you have to unfuck yourself of all the bullshit that you were talking But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish these clothes because otherwise, if I keep talking, I won't. I will see you guys later. So I just finished the clothes finally because they're all gone. See, see, look, it looks so much better over there now. I'm sitting here eating bacon, eggs, and toast. Well, I was eating some toast, but this one stole it off my plate. But I shouldn't be eating the bread, no way. So. I'm glad he did. So now it's just bacon and eggs. So it's almost twelve, and at this point, I usually take this one outside to garbage out, dump our black tanks because I'm sure they're full. I'm sure they're full. Oh my gosh, I am not prepared for that because I haven't done it. So. I just need to get some clothes to go outside because earlier I went outside in these pajamas and like the dogs, the, the dogs and I were jumping all over me and shit. And I was like, you know what? Why would I come outside in my pajamas? I don't even do that. But I did. So we're going to get some different clothes. Oh my God, I love how organized this thing is. But this is all the clothes that I wear. I wear, this is the season of clothes we're in right now. And then the second door is the season of clothes we just came out of. But as far as like clothes go, because I live in the RV, I only have like, I really try to not have a lot of clothes because there's not a lot of room for it. Um, when I moved into the RV, I got rid of all the clothes that I had, except for all my dressy, my, my nice cute clothes. I kept all of that, but I got rid of the majority of everything. And then I went and bought new clothes. But when I went and bought new clothes, I only bought seven outfits seven outfits for the win and it was for winter clothes so it's like i got seven shirts seven long pairs long sea shirts seven pair of pants seven um like um like jackets or sweaters and stuff to like go over you know it's like really cold and stuff um and yeah I have, and it's been a year and i still have all those clothes and i've even added to it like this drawer clothes here are all new and I have it, all my nice clothes. Like, I haven't went back to the garage and got my nice clothes. I just bought new nice clothes, and now I have them here. Um, 
they're not new nice clothes but i think during the time that i was living or moving into an rv right as as i've been here i've realized that my style is a bit different so the clothes that i did have I, i'm like uh, no nope, don't want them no more and i wanted to go for a total new look and my look is now like a, it's like a natural hippie not and i don't mean hippie i don't know if hippie is the correct word to use but like i'm really going for minimalist minimal lifestyle not spending a lot on clothes and like not doing too much with shit just keeping it very down to a minimum that's all <laughs> that's it really that is the reason why and it's less confusion like if i got all this fucking clothes it's a headache because you gotta wash them gotta put them up and stuff so i really enjoy not having a lot of clothes i enjoy that a lot let's get dressed he does this right to for an hour and then he watches whatever show he wants for an hour we go for our walk and then we go take a nap adam grab your jacket want that one okay so we are currently trying to make a pile of leaves look yep drop it good job look at <laughs> we're loving this doing pretty good well, apparently they've been open already and we don't normally do that so I gotta dude i really want to draw little nipples on there for the video bottom zip okay <laughs> so it's currently raining and i took my hair down yesterday so i'm irritated as freak right now because my hair is gonna just poof up Hello guys, today is, what is it, Thursday? I don't normally go and get no food or nothing in the mornings. Usually I try to wait until about noon to really eat anything, but I, don't, I worked out this morning at four. I'm really hungry, so. so we're gonna see. I try not to get a lot of carbs or something, but I do want a bagel. But I shouldn't. Okay, I'll be back. But yeah, so like I was saying, this morning I woke up and worked out at the regular time at four. I don't know, and this morning I'm really hungry. Like, usually in the mornings I, I am pretty hungry, but I can usually, like, take it. Like, it's not a, I'm really hungry, but I can usually deal with it. But this morning, so I just got a baby. Got it. Thank you, Adam. I did not mean to step outside looking like this. This is an accident. I look a mess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> where's your hair? Those, no. Where's your hair? Uh uh. Okay. Where are your shoulders? Yes, that's your shoulders. Where's your mouth? Yeah, good job. Where's your nose? Yes, good job. Where's your head? Yay, good job. So awesome. Woo. It doesn't look the prettiest, but that's how I like my eggs. Like, you know, runny like that. Okay. So today's Saturday, 9 a.m. Things that I've learned living in an RV. Now, I want to say I've learned many things. You know, um, I'll probably turn this into like a little segment or something though because I've learned so many things living this lifestyle. It's not just these four or five I, things I'm going to tell you, but it's way more than even that. So, yeah. Um, to end off this video, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about things that i've learned living in rv um i am currently eating so i will be talking but looking down probably because i try to eat so 
yeah, disclaimer about that. But things I've learned living in an RV. Let's start with the ability to be able to, to adapt to any environment. Well, as you constantly are moving around and you're changing environments, you're going to get unexpected challenges and stuff like bad, bad weather and you don't know how you're going to act in these type of circumstances until you get in them pretty much. But when you get in them, you learn how to do that. So anytime you get in another situation like um, rainy season, you know, well, in rainy season, you have to learn how to navigate the campsites a little bit differently. Like if you're on gravel or grass in rainy season on grass, you're going to have a lot of bugs coming out of the ground um, into your RV and things like that. So you learn to keep it sprayed around on the outside. And also just the flexibility and problem solving like that. that that's a big part of adaptability as well, because um, you will have to things will break. You got to learn how to fix them. Or, you know, something bad may happen and you might not be able to do anything about it in that instance. But you got to sing our problems. So you got to figure that shit out. You got two, which I've talked about this one before on my TikTok. So if you don't follow me on my TikTok already, go there and check it out. Rolling with mom are all my social medias. With minimalism, it basically becomes living in an RV. It becomes the way of life. Like, you're going to have to get over it. That's just something you're going to have to learn how to do because otherwise your crib would just be messy all the time which you learn to prioritize essentials over items you start like you declutter regularly like you're always throwing things out like i noticed with myself i'm always throwing stuff out because after a while i'm like do i really need that there it shows you like how much you really don't need with things you automatically learn how to just like <clears throat> not have as much shit that's all like you just learn that you really don't need as much shit as you've always like thought you needed that's all for three would be the value of experience over possession which i kind of just touched on this one on minimalism with saying like as much things as you really don't need but i think it's still a whole different point to make still but living in rv i think that you get more of the travel and the, the excitedness of things and exploration like i've run in, ran into like different cultures and i've shifted my mentality from material things and all to memories and that was the thing that i grew up like i grew up like that when i grew up how i was raised was on materialistic you know like and it wasn't like my parents fault it i think it was it was um peers you know, like how you, like the people that you go to school with, people that you hang out with and stuff like that. Like where I was raised, we were big on like name brand stuff. Like everybody had to have, you had to have Jordans. Like my first boyfriend bought me a pair of Jordans because I was walking around with these flights on. And like, it was like a thing, like you had to be like balling. You had to have money. You had to be like, you like your shoe game gotta be a point you gotta know how to dress like all these things growing up that's what i learned but then when i went moving into rv leaving chicago and coming to california uh, overall has just showed me like the value of memories over all that material shit that i rather have fun enjoy life make memories than just the material belongings i want to cherish those moments in my life and i in order to cherish that i want i have to spend the time i have to um uh, and spending the time creates the memory so like that's another thing that you learn you learn the value of experience over possessions so when i say effective resource management is that living an rv you got you got to be real strategic and this is what i mean like it just it just creates a more sustainable sustainable lifestyle that's all naturally it's just simple and it's like not much to it and you save on a whole lot i hope i explained this well and it don't sound like crazy or anything i already know it well though so you guys have a wonderful day and i'm closing this video out i will talk to you guys later
拜。